We heard you loud and clear. The Play Carrier series is a hit. So we're back now with a new series on Duty Belts. Hey guys, we want to take a minute to do a quick shout out to this week's video sponsor, Soil Eater, makers of the BMTH. This is the B2. What does BMTH stand for? It stands for Belt Mounted Tourniquet Holder. Probably the easiest, simplest way to carry your tourniquet on your belt. We're absolutely huge fans, been running them for a long time. This here is the V2, a little bit newer. This is the V1. You can see the wear on the edges because we've actually been running it ourselves for some time. And it still holds the tourniquet super securely, super easily. It's also ambidextrous. These things are awesome. Check them out. Let's get back to the video. Today, we are gonna be sharing details on the belts we run and a little bit about each belt individually. But over the next few months, with dedicated breakout videos for each individual belt, we're gonna go into a whole lot more detail. So what are we gonna cover? We've got the AWS SMU. We've got the Blue Force Gear Chalk Belt, the Blue Force Gear Grid Belt, the Ronin Tactics Shuto Belt, and the Bear with me here. Full Molly lined tactical belt by Lead Devil. This is gonna be an awesome series. Let's get started. An important detail logistically, but not so important when choosing kit that best fits you and your needs is price. Here at Core Performance, we're strong believers in buying the best kit for your needs that will optimize your performance and survivability in the field. However, price is always a part of the purchasing decision. And as such, the price for each belt as of April, 2023 is as follows. The AWS SMU runs $147.70. The Blue Force Gear Chalk Belt runs $299.95, while the Grid Belt, also by Blue Force Gear, runs $249.95. The Ronin Tactics Shooto starts at $142.50, while the Lead Devil Full Molly Line Tactical Belt starts at $155. Weight is arguably one of the most important factors in kit selection. Weight adds up over time and places strain on the body in ways most users don't realize until a day or two after strenuous activity. During our plate carrier series, we covered the scientific formula developed by Nike co-founder Bill Bowerman that calculates total weight carried over distance. The weights of these belts are as follows. The SMU by AWS tips the scales at 12.4 ounces in size medium or 0.27 ounces per inch. For those of you that are wondering why we read out ounces per inch, it is a way to standardize the weights against different lengths. So continuing on, the Blue Force Gear Chalk Belt lists a weight of 12.5 ounces, but it measured 8.55 ounces in size 34 or approximately 0.22 ounces per inch. While the Grid Belt, also by Blue Force Gear, is listed on the website as 12.5 ounces, it measured 5.55 ounces in size 36 or 0.14 ounces per inch. It is worth noting that this weight is for the glass-filled nylon buckle and not for the metal buckle. The Ronin Tactics Shudo measured 10.55 ounces in size medium or 0.23 ounces per inch. The Lead Devil Full Molly Lined Tactical Belt measured 12.9 ounces in size large or 0.28 ounces per inch. So sizing is important. I mean, what's the point of having a belt if it doesn't fit, right? Now, for all you collectors out there, you guys can go ahead and skip this section if you want and it might just be boring. But for all of you end users watching, let's go ahead and dive into this. Feel free to use that pause button if you want to study this chart in detail. We know there's a lot of information there, but fear not. We've also included this entire chart in the blog article that is linked in the show notes below. Thermoregulation is the ability of your body to regulate core temperature. This is an underappreciated but foundational science to maximize performance and survivability in the field. 
Boosting our natural thermoregulatory mechanisms is something we are constantly advancing here at Core Performance. It is the enabling mechanism behind our push to build a superhuman future. Belts are not generally designed to mitigate heat buildup or assist in hydration through active thermoregulation. In fact, most manufacturers don't even do a good job designing for comfort, much less thermoregulation. The most relevant belts for this topic are the Blue Force Gear chalk and grid belts. Blue Force Gear chose to design these belts to match the natural curvature of the human body to maximize comfort while wearing them for extended periods. That said, none of the belts displayed today are truly designed for thermoregulation. That's where our all new ice vent center belt comes in. Designed to integrate with both contoured belts like chalk and grid, as well as straight belts like Lead Devil and AWS, the Ice Fence Inner Belt gives all two belt systems the ability to maximize comfort and thermoregulation using our Ice Fence technology in a monolithic form factor. For those running sizes larger or smaller than we will be offering, we also offer Ice Fence Duty Belt Packs that combine Ice Fence Classic and Ice Fence Aero to allow the user to place Ice Fence on their duty belt however they see fit. Materials are hugely important because they play into strength, abrasion resistance, and hydrolysis resistance. These are all things that you should prioritize when selecting a belt for duty use. Most belts are made from similar materials but have slight deviations from one another. Most of the belts we have selected have unique materials not found in every other belt. For example, let's start with the AWS SMU. Uh, it has a three chord, well, this alphabet soup is just going to get put on the screen because that's going to sound awful with me reading it to you guys here in the voiceover. Uh, it's basically nylon thread, and then it also incorporates a cobra buckle, a polymer-coated fabric composite material. Uh, we suspect it's squadron, but we're not absolutely sure since uh, there is no disclosure on the website, and we're going with those disclosures. And also hook and loop. The chalk belt by Blue Force Gear features a rigid composite laminate, their proprietary ultra comp laminate, as well as Tex 70 bonded nylon thread and tubular webbing. Similarly, the grid belt by Blue Force Gear also uses the same rigid composite laminate, the same proprietary ultra comp laminate, and the same Tex 70 bonded nylon thread, as well as tubular webbing. The big difference for those of you that are wondering in terms of materials between the chalk and the grid is that one is load rated with lash points and the other one is not. The Ronin Tactics Shuto has a cobra buckle, nylon hook and loop, and well, that's all we can tell you about that because again, their site lacks details and specifics and the disclosures. The Lead Devil Full Molly Line Tactical Belt uses Lead Devil's proprietary Gen 2 Lead Devil Tactical Webbing, cobra buckles, and a custom low pro molded hook. Historically, inner belts are an afterthought. The result is a market filled with nearly identical, uninteresting commodities. Almost all are made from rigid nylon with an outer layer of loop and a hook and loop closure system. This is another area where Blue Force Gear is the only company, to our knowledge, to innovate and use a softer laminate lining, curved shape, and G-hook closure to create a very comfortable and sturdy inner belt system. We'll share more about the shared lineage of the system from BFG and our Ice Fence inner belt later, but let's take a look at the inner belts included with these other outer belts. The Blue Force Gear Chalk inner belt features a cushioned laser cut ultra comp laminate that uses a G-hook closure. The same goes also for the grid belt by Blue Force Gear. The SMU belt by AWS uses a 1.5 inch or a 2 inch black or coyote nylon inner belt with a Velcro closure. The Shuto by Ronin Tactics features a 2 inch black nylon inner belt. It's basically the same as the AWS, but less original. And the Lead Devil Full Molly Lined Tactical Belt features a 1.5 inch black nylon belt with bonded edges for better comfort and Velcro closure. The belts shown here come in several sizing and color options. They are listed here in this chart. In a world of belts that all mostly look and feel the same, the belts presented here have found a way to stand out from the rest. Some designs are more novel, others more elegant, while others are tougher. Each of these belts, however, has features that make them unique. Let's start with the SMU by AWS. It uses a polymer-coated fabric composite material, yes, we're reading that directly from the website, for Molly overlay. This is a pretty cool feature in our opinion and one of our favorites. In other words, it's a laminate which offers an extra low profile layer for attaching Molly pouches and holsters. The use of laminate also adds strength while lowering weight in comparison to nylon. Let's move on to the chalk and grid belts by Blue Force Gear. They both use a proprietary curved belt design. It's easily the most comfortable in our opinion. Ultra comp laminate construction and laser cut Molly for an ultralight and extremely strong design. The Shooto by Ronin Tactics, well, 
let's be honest, if you're a two lamb fanboy, then this is the belt for you. It's been in Call of Duty and on your favorite tactical influencer basically everywhere, so you too can look high speed with a nylon centric Ronin belt. Lead Devil Full Molly Line Tactical Belt. The sizing overlap is secured with Velcro on the inside of the belt to ensure zero sizing changes while in use. Lead Devil also uses one solid strip of 100D nylon for the Molly overlay instead of folded nylon. This adds strength and reduces external signature. That wraps up our first look at our favorite duty belts as of April of 2023. We hope you guys enjoyed it, but more importantly, we hope that it was really helpful in your purchasing decision. But before you guys click out, we want to know two things. What duty belts are you guys running? And what duty belts do you guys want to see us cover in future videos? Let us know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. And until next time, stay frosty. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. We hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, fear not, we've got tons more on the way. And in the meantime, if you guys would like to support the channel, head on over to coreperformance.com where we are building the superhuman future for American security and American prosperity. But what does that even mean? Well, if you guys aren't familiar, we actually weaponize temperature to enhance performance and survivability for a wide range of people. Military, law enforcement, responsible armed citizens, safety professionals, devices, outdoor enthusiasts, athletes, you name it, we've probably covered it. And we'd really appreciate it if you check it out and see what we're doing. We'd love to have you guys join. If you're looking for a no cost way to support the channel, a great way to do that is like, comment, subscribe, help us grow. It really does help us um, financially here to be able to produce this content, get it out to you guys at no cost to you. So again, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.